Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about clinical approach to a newborn infant with suspected inborn error of metabolism. Now, if the initial findings in a newborn include poor feeding, repeated vomiting, lethargy, convulsions which are not responsive to intravenous glucose or calcium, and coma, then think of following two diagnoses. Number one, it could be due to infection. Do the relevant laboratory test and treat accordingly. Now, these initial symptoms could be due to inborn error of metabolism. First initial step is to do the following four laboratory tests. Number one, arterial blood gases. Number two, serum ammonia. Normal level is less than 35 micromole per liter. Number three, serum electrolytes and number four calculate the anion gap by the following formula sodium minus chloride plus bicarbonate and normal anion gap in babies is 7 to 16 milli equivalent per liter now if the serum ammonia is increased that is more than 200 micromole per liter there is no acidosis and the anion gap is normal then think of the following five differential diagnoses Number one, transient hyperammonemia of the newborn. Number two, urea cycle defects. Number three, hyperammonemia, hyperornithinemia, homocetrullinemia syndrome, which is also known as HHH syndrome. Number four, lysinuric protein intolerance. And number five, congenital hyperinsulinism with hyperammonemia. Next, if serum ammonia is increased, Arterial blood gases show acidosis and the anion gap is high. Then our differential diagnosis is organic acidemia. In this case, there is also serum ketosis and ketone urea. Now, organic acidemia could be with or without skin manifestation. If the baby has some skin manifestation like rash, then think of multiple carboxylase deficiency. But if there are no skin manifestation, then check whether the baby has any particular order. If there is no order, then think of the following three diagnoses. Propionic acidemia, methyl melonic acidemia or ketothiolase deficiency. But if the baby has a characteristic order, then think of maple syrup urine disease or isovaleric acidemia. Next step. If the serum ammonia is increased, arterial blood gases show acidosis, anion gap is high, but there is no ketosis and no ketone urea. Then there could be one of the three possibilities: 3-hydroxy-3-methyl glutaric acid urea, acyl coenzyme A dehydrogenase deficiency, or beta-hydroxy beta-methyl glutaryl coenzyme A synthesis that is HMG coenzyme A deficiency. Now, if the serum ammonia is normal, there is no acidosis and the anion gap is also normal. Then the initial symptoms in the baby could be due to amino acidopathies. In this, five differential diagnoses are included phenylketonuria, tyrosinemia, L-captonuria, homocysteinuria and Hartnup disease. Ok friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health related videos.